Do you know how many languages there are in our world today? Well, let me tell you, there are 6,500 spoken languages in our world today. But do you know that a long, long time ago, all the people of this earth only spoke one language? Now, let, I want you to see this paper. It is written, God keeps His promises in 10 different languages. 10 different languages that I've written, but out of these 10, I only know a few of them. In our previous video, we learned that God gave us a beautiful rainbow to show us that He will never again flood our whole world with water. But the people at that time did not believe in God's promise. God told them to spread out and fill the whole world. But they decided that they knew better. They wanted to stay in one place and wanted to build the tallest tower that you can ever imagine. A tower that can reach the sky. Because they were afraid that God would cover the whole world with water again. So up they went and built a really tall tower called Babel. As they were building, something happened. God made them speak different languages, and now everybody cannot understand each other. So what happened to them? They went and spread across the whole world, just as God has planned. You see, when God tells us to do something, we need to obey, because He knows what's best for everyone. He loves us so much that He only wants what is best for you and what's best for me. In the Bible, He has written in Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him and He will make your path straight. Let us remember God's promise to us and let us learn to trust Him each and every day and be obedient to His command. Now, let us go to our craft time to make this very cute pop-up card of the Tower of Babel. These are the items that you will need for your craft. Color pencil, two types of paper, one white color and the another color of your choice, color pens, glue stick, scissors, pen and also a ruler. You will need to measure 3 cm wide of each lines. Then you cut and measure 3 cm, 4 cm, 5 cm, 6 cm, 7 cm and 8 cm accordingly. Then cut out the paper according to the lines. After you have cut out the lines, fold each of the papers in both directions. Fold it just like how I did, and there you have it, a pop art card. Now, draw the bricks like how a tower would be. You can draw however you like, and this is how I did mine. After you have drawn everything, color it like just like how I did. Now you can draw the clouds, you can draw the sun, you can draw lots and lots of mountains around with some plants and also some beautiful flowers. After you have drawn on the white paper, take a glue stick and glue just like how I'm showing you and fold both papers. Now you can label the outer layer according to our title today, which is the Tower of Babel. And there you have it, a pop-up card of our Tower of Babel. That's all for our Bible Alive series today. I hope that you had a good time making this pop-up card of the Tower of Babel. And I hope that you all learn a very important lesson that we need to obey God because God knows what is best for you and me. 
We know that God loves us so much and let us learn how to trust Him each and every day. I hope that you have a good weekend with your family and see you again for our next Bible Alive series. Bye-bye!